Well, here we go, map number two, it's Aero Walk. Might as well get the uh, spawn over towards that Mega Health. And I think he did a ton of damage there with the rocket, but... Oh, I'm lucky. Really unlucky with the rocket, uh, the railgun shot. That could have been his uh, kill. You actually goes down because of it. So that's going to be frustrating for Rand. I felt like he he played a smarter earlier game. Oh, Cypher's out of LG there. I think he could have finished off that frag. Maybe not quite, but right now he's putting in more pressure. Fast will take the kill and the lead. A very, very hectic first 30 seconds. Fast still holding on. Mega up in two seconds. I for one be able to put in the uh, challenge to pick it up, but he tried to put out some damage while he was there. Yeah, Faz is playing really good. He's, he's ready as well for these cheeky shots that Cypher does to people. I mean, Cypher was dipping down to the 25 armor and then getting back up very quickly. And Faz is on it. Like He's really not getting caught out looking the wrong way or not getting hit without replying. So having these constant replies uh, to Cypher while you still have, you know, map control basically means that he's not beating, he's not, you know, taking you off control. And Cypher likes to, you know, win you uh, win back map by doing this. So Faz not letting him. Cypher's either going to have to go very aggressive uh, at one point or just string a huge amount of shots together. Because right now, Faz looks like he could run away at the scoreline on this map, which is going to be huge for him. A bit of confidence going forward. Rocket jump, not quite what was intended, I think. This time it gets in the red armor. It's a three frag difference. Not even two minutes gone yet in this second map. And that's a great move from uh, Faz managing to land himself straight on that teleporter. Take himself the Mega. Faz is down there in front of him. Oh, so good. I mean, he's, I mean, okay, it's not great because he didn't hit the shot, but he's looking for all the right shots. And yeah. so I think Cypher is, you know, hasn't found pace yet uh, just because of how well Faz is playing. So if he can keep this up and just land a few more crucial shots, you know, he's going to look so fantastic because Cypher is just going to feel like, oh, okay. But of course, the longer the game goes on, the more mistakes we're going to see from both players. It is inevitable. And uh, Cypher you know, doesn't make a lot of mistakes. Here we go, then. Faz moving in. Mega Health stolen away. Can Cypher come out on top of this one? Fast down to just 40 HP. And Cypher went the teleporter route, fired off the rail, connects with his shot. Is really going to be able to pick up the kill here? No, not quite. Done all the right damage. And still no LG. I'm not sure Cypher's really had an LG the whole game, but there's a nice frag. Sorry, you can uh, see, sorry, yeah, I was going to say, you can see that the you know, fans is slightly riskier in his play uh, when he's out of control, and that could hurt him. So I'm not sure if he wants to keep playing that card, because, you know, Cypher didn't give up much when, you know, it, out of control. But it was more of a case for fans who maybe should have been hitting a little bit more. You have taken the lead. Two hits with a pummel there from Faz. Good decision. Good amount of damage done. Impressive. Cypher really turned it on with that rail gun. Oh, and he switched out to a rocket. That could be dangerous for him. Where is Faz? There he is. Down towards that mega health, which is up in five seconds' time. And Faz is really insisting on holding that position. Doesn't work out for him. Cypher will get the kill right before that mega spawns, and he's able to jump straight on over to it. Yeah, but Still, Faz is aiming, holding up. Yeah, no, he, it was really nice of him to get the railgun and not just run to RA so he could defend with one railgun shot. So he's one RA but eaten a rail. So they're about even right now. Um, so really, it's all about who's going to hit the next crucial shot between these two players. Of course, with yellow armor spawning, which Cypher will probably go for, but he doesn't want to give up position on it just yet. And he's actually going to back away. So decided just to maybe hold some position, but I'm not sure that was the best idea from Cypher. He's going to lose Mega. So yeah, Faz definitely uh, won that one back, but I think Cypher could have done that a little better. Cypher's so got that last red out, man. Health just to uh, boost him up back to that 100. Five and a half minutes to go. Bubbles collecting yellow armor as well. Rail comes in from across the other side of the map from Faz. And now Cypher's gonna push in again. Good amount of damage, great work of the teleporters. And look at this for a move from Cypher. Managing to hit almost everything, but yeah, we're gonna see Mega collected by Faz. 
Yeah, I mean, he's extended himself, done a lot of damage, but Faz maintained control of the item. So it's really a case, if Faz can hit a couple of good shots, he's going to get the frag. Because Cypher, you know, he's, he's really asking a lot of himself to be able to bring, you know, to take Faz off control. But he's lucky that that RA was up and Faz didn't take it. So, I mean, nicely done. But Faz, very frustrated, knows that situation and actually came through the teleporter. So, 8-4. Still a little bit unfortunate there for Faz, but still great play from Cypher. Cypher's taking another risky move there, but he knows he can seal off his mega health. That position. That's all land the ring. Frag difference. Here comes Cypher from underneath, and it's a massive and burst again. of LG. And yeah, did he just miss the red? Yeah, arm? and I, I, he was on that red armor platform before before he came off when it was up. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm not sure if he left it because of, he was scared of rocket spam. But basically, he's given two red armors away um, to Cypher. Comes rail. And Cypher's rail percentage has really increased actually as we've gone along. Curious how we've got the accuracy of Faz. Shot's not finished. And Faz 60% LG, 38% rail. But look over the other side, it's a very different story for the Cypher. And that's, you know, one thing that you pointed out at the start of this map that the accuracies from uh, Cypher in that last round were very, very solid. Yeah, he's, he has been aiming better, and his LG as well been really on here. Faz's rails have been good, but he hasn't been, you know, Cypher has felt that early on, and he hasn't allowed him to string two together um, in various situations where if he hit the second one, it would have meant Cypher crippled. But look, Cypher's LG, oh wow, this oh, is insane. Amazing. LG rocket flick to rocket finisher with the splash damage, not even allowing him on the mega. It's just. Yeah, Cypher's just taking up a notch. I mean, at the start, fans was looking solid, but this map, that's what can happen. Well, those people who said earlier, how can you say how Cypher's playing against the person that he crushed in his group? Well, it all looks the same when good. you've got no help and armor. Right now, Cypher's showing us a bit of a masterclass. Yeah, even that, like, you know, dodging the grenades off. You know, he's actually got the grenades mentally mapped out, but he knows when to back off through the teleport without even looking. So yeah. he's just really on it right now. But Faz does hit a nice railgun shot that will um, put Cypher a little hurt until he had to uh, get the red. And now he's looking to chase, and Faz will actually help him yeah, with the rail pick up the up kill. The rail kept him in midair. Allowed him to get that last rocket off. He's got two minutes to go. It's 14 to 3 in favor of Cypher, who will drop down. And he actually gets the kill and kills himself. And Faz, unsurprisingly, dives straight down to that big amount of weapons that were left on the floor. But there's some great rockets again from Cypher. And a second one. In comes Faz. And he's got 3 HP. And Cypher came oh on the jump God. pad. Like, right, hello. Insane. Yeah, he's looking really good. Scoreline, of course. Extending nicely for Cypher. Things stay the same. Of course, Cypher will top group eight. Fast finish will finish in second. The players uh, walking through their other games. But I still think just this performance has made everybody, I imagine, from the other groups think that Cypher is playing really strong because he's not giving anything away that easy. I mean, you have to really hit amazing to, to knock him off the map. And otherwise, yeah. you know, he, he's hitting, he's dodging. You, know, you you hit a little bit, but then he's also got position on items and he's just playing such a great game. And now he'll probably challenge. And that's, you know, also a good decision to rocket jump up. So just constant, you know, good decisions here. So quick around the map as well. Really has to have some fans the whole time. He's actually going to follow up. Again, does some damage, able to get away from it. He's got 25 seconds to go. LG again keeps him airborne. That rocket was perfect on onto Faz. Will finish up with the rail. And again, an amazing move from Cypher. He's actually going to uh, come in once again. Survives with one HP. And as we hit the final 10 seconds, there's probably even more room for amazing Cypher play. Here in 
his final dying second. There's always room for amazing fight to play. There we go. And Fad says GG and it ends 19 to 3. Cypher is going to win the game 2-0 and just showing us an amazingly solid performance throughout.